The ocean is always moving. It's a vast and dynamic system constantly in flux, driven by a multitude of forces that shape its behavior and influence the world around us. From the surface to the deepest depths, the ocean is a complex and interconnected environment. The study of this movement is known as ocean hydrodynamics. This field of science delves into the intricate patterns and behaviors of ocean currents, waves and tides. By understanding these movements, we can gain insights into the broader mechanisms that govern our planet's climate and ecosystems. Ocean hydrodynamics is not just about observing the water's surface, it involves a deep dive into the forces at play beneath the waves. Scientists use advanced technology and instruments to measure and analyze the ocean's movements from the smallest eddies to the largest currents. This research helps us understand the forces that shape our planet. The movement of ocean water affects everything from coastal erosion to the distribution of nutrients in the sea. It plays a crucial role in regulating the Earth's climate by redistributing heat around the globe. From the crashing waves on the shore to the deep ocean currents, everything is connected. The energy of the ocean is in constant motion, influencing marine life, weather patterns and even human activities. Understanding these connections is vital for managing our relationship with the ocean. Ocean hydrodynamics is essential for life as we know it. The movement of water supports the growth of marine ecosystems, from the smallest plankton to the largest whales. It drives the nutrient cycles that sustain life in the ocean and on land. It influences our climate, weather patterns and the distribution of marine life. The ocean's currents act like a global conveyor belt, transporting warm and cold water across the planet. This movement affects weather systems such as hurricanes and monsoons and helps regulate temperatures. Understanding how water moves within the ocean is crucial. Researchers deploy a variety of tools, including buoys, drifters and research vessels, to collect data on ocean currents and temperatures. This information is vital for predicting changes in the marine environment and preparing for their impacts. It helps us predict changes in the marine environment. By creating models of ocean circulation, scientists can forecast how the ocean will respond to factors like climate change and human activities. These predictions are essential for developing strategies to protect marine ecosystems and coastal communities. This knowledge is essential for the sustainable management of our oceans. By understanding the dynamics of ocean currents and ecosystems, we can implement practices that protect marine life and ensure the health of our oceans for future generations. The ocean churns with a constant energy. This energy is visible in the turbulence on the surface and the powerful currents below. It's a reminder of the ocean's immense power and the need to respect and protect this vital resource. Waves ripple across the surface, tides rise and fall. These movements are driven by the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun as well as the Earth's rotation. They create a rhythmic dance that has been happening for millions of years. Currents flow like rivers within the sea. These underwater rivers transport water, heat and nutrients across vast distances. They connect different parts of the ocean and play a crucial role in maintaining the health of marine ecosystems. These movements are not random, they are driven by powerful forces, including wind, gravity and the Earth's rotation. Understanding these forces helps us predict and respond to changes in the ocean. They are driven by powerful forces. Wind pushes the surface water, creating waves and currents. Gravity pulls on the ocean, causing tides to rise and fall. The Earth's rotation influences the direction and speed of ocean currents. These forces include wind, gravity and the Earth's rotation. Together they create a dynamic and ever-changing ocean environment. By studying these forces, we can better understand the ocean's behavior and its impact on our world. Let's dive into the depths of ocean hydrodynamics. We'll explore the fascinating world of waves, tides, currents and the forces that drive them. Join us as we uncover the secrets of the ocean and learn how its movements shape our planet. We'll explore the fascinating world of waves, tides, currents and the forces that drive them. From the surface to the deep sea, the ocean is a world of constant motion and endless wonder. Let's embark on this journey together and discover the mysteries of the ocean in motion. Waves are the most visible sign of the ocean's movement. They are mesmerizing to watch. 
But what exactly causes these undulating forms? Waves are created by wind. As wind blows over the water's surface, it creates friction. This friction transfers energy from the air to the water, causing it to ripple and rise. The stronger the wind, the larger the waves. Waves are not just pretty to look at. They play a crucial role in shaping coastlines. They erode cliffs, transport sand, and create beaches. Waves also play a vital role in the ocean's ecosystem. They oxygenate the water, stir up nutrients, and provide a habitat for many marine organisms. Understanding wave patterns is essential for coastal communities. It helps us predict erosion and protect our shorelines. Wave energy is also being harnessed as a renewable source of power. This highlights the potential of the ocean to provide clean energy. Twice a day, we witness the rhythmic rise and fall of ocean levels. These are the tides, a powerful force driven by the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun. The moon's gravity pulls the water on the side of the earth closest to it. This creates a bulge or high tide. A corresponding bulge occurs on the opposite side of the Earth. As the Earth rotates, different locations experience these bulges as high tides. Tides are not uniform across the globe. The shape of coastlines, the depth of the ocean floor, and the positions of the sun and moon all influence their height and timing. Tides are essential for many coastal ecosystems. They create intertidal zones which are home to a diverse array of plants and animals. Tides also play a role in navigation. They influence the flow of currents and can create strong tidal currents. Section four, currents, rivers in the sea. Beneath the surface, the ocean is a network of currents. These currents are like the veins and arteries of the ocean, constantly moving and circulating water throughout the vast marine environment. They are essential for the health of the ocean and play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of marine ecosystems. These are like rivers flowing within the sea. Just as rivers on land transport water from one place to another, ocean currents move water across the globe. They connect different parts of the ocean, creating a dynamic and interconnected system that supports a wide range of marine life. They transport vast amounts of water across great distances. This movement of water is not just a surface phenomenon, it extends deep into the ocean, affecting everything from the surface to the ocean floor. The sheer volume of water moved by these currents is staggering and their influence can be felt across the entire planet. Ocean currents are driven by a combination of factors. Wind is one of the primary drivers, pushing the surface water in a particular direction. The interaction between the wind and the water creates a complex pattern of movement that can vary greatly depending on the location and the strength of the wind. Wind is a major driver, pushing the surface water in a particular direction. However, it's not the only factor at play. The Earth's rotation, known as the Coriolis effect, also influences the direction and speed of ocean currents. This effect causes currents to veer to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. Differences in water density caused by variations in temperature and salinity also play a role. Warmer, less salty water tends to rise, while colder, saltier water sinks. This creates a vertical movement of water that contributes to the overall circulation of ocean currents. These density-driven currents are known as thermohaline circulation. The Earth's rotation also influences current direction. This phenomenon, known as the Coriolis effect, causes moving water to be deflected to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. This deflection creates spiraling patterns in the ocean currents, adding another layer of complexity to their movement. There are two main types of ocean currents, surface currents and deep ocean currents. Surface currents are primarily driven by wind and are relatively fast moving. They are responsible for the movement of water in the upper 400 meters of the ocean. Deep ocean currents, on the other hand, are driven by differences in water density and move much more slowly. Surface currents are driven by wind and are relatively fast moving. These currents can travel at speeds of up to several kilometers per hour and can cover vast distances. They play a crucial role in the distribution of heat and nutrients in the ocean supporting marine life and influencing weather patterns. Deep ocean currents, on the other hand, are driven by density differences and move much more slowly. These currents can take hundreds or even thousands of years to complete a single cycle. 
Despite their slow speed, they are essential for the long-term circulation of water in the ocean and play a key role in regulating the Earth's climate. Ocean currents play a vital role in regulating Earth's climate. By transporting heat from the tropics to the poles, they help to moderate temperatures and create a more stable climate. This heat transfer is essential for maintaining the balance of the Earth's climate system and supporting life on our planet. They transport heat from the tropics to the poles, moderating temperatures. This movement of heat helps to prevent extreme temperature variations and creates a more hospitable environment for life. Without ocean currents, the Earth's climate would be much more extreme and less stable. They also influence weather patterns and the distribution of marine life. By moving nutrients and oxygen-rich water around the ocean, currents support the growth and survival of marine organisms. They also play a role in the formation of weather systems, such as hurricanes and typhoons, by influencing the temperature and humidity of the air above the ocean. Section 5. Upwelling and Downwelling – The Ocean's Breath The ocean is not a static body of water, it is a dynamic and ever-changing environment, teeming with life and energy. The surface may appear calm or turbulent, but beneath lies a world of constant motion and transformation. Vertical movements, known as upwelling and downwelling, are also constantly taking place. These processes are driven by various factors, including wind patterns, the Earth's rotation, and differences in water temperature and salinity. These movements are crucial for the health of marine ecosystems. They play a vital role in distributing nutrients and oxygen throughout the ocean, supporting a diverse array of marine life, from the smallest plankton to the largest whales. Upwelling occurs when wind pushes surface water away from the coast. This displacement of water allows deeper, colder water to rise to the surface, bringing with it a wealth of nutrients that have accumulated in the ocean's depths. This allows colder, nutrient-rich water from the depths to rise to the surface. These nutrients are essential for the growth of phytoplankton, which form the base of the ocean's food web and support a wide range of marine species. This process is essential for marine productivity as it brings vital nutrients to phytoplankton, the base of the ocean food web. Phytoplankton blooms can be seen from space, painting the ocean with vibrant colors and indicating areas of high biological activity. Downwelling is the opposite of upwelling. While upwelling brings nutrients to the surface, downwelling transports surface water down into the depths of the ocean. It occurs when surface water is forced downwards typically due to wind or differences in density. This process helps to distribute heat and oxygen throughout the ocean, maintaining the balance of marine ecosystems. This process transports oxygen-rich surface water to deeper depths, supporting life in the ocean's depths. Without downwelling, many deep-sea creatures would struggle to survive due to a lack of oxygen. Upwelling and downwelling are essential for the overall health of the ocean. They ensure that nutrients and oxygen are cycled throughout the marine environment, supporting a diverse and thriving ecosystem. They regulate nutrient cycles, oxygen levels and the distribution of marine life. Understanding these processes is crucial for scientists and researchers who study the ocean and its complex systems. Understanding these processes is vital for managing fisheries and protecting marine ecosystems. By studying upwelling and downwelling, we can better predict changes in marine populations and develop strategies to preserve the health of our oceans for future generations.